Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Will It Digest. We asked what you'd like to see digested and somebody said a football. And since the Super Bowl is around the corner, here's our chance to score a touchdown. Woo! Sounds like I need a football. <laughs> ah, this is a football. Not exactly the football I'm looking for, but it is made of leather. So let's hold on to that for later. And, well, <laughs> basketball, again, not quite the football I'm looking for, but leather. So again, let's hold on to that. Ah, a tennis ball, very funny. Uh, rubber, it's got some green fuzzy stuff. Ah, let's get rid of that one, okay? And a baseball, we'll definitely hold on to the baseball because of the leather covering. I'm starting to see a theme here. Oh, hockey puck, Woo! not leather, vulcanized rubber, but it gives me an idea for a later episode. I think I'm gonna hold on to that. And there it is, the American football. And since all of these are made of leather, we're gonna be the digesting together in a single batch. Before we get started, did you know that an American football is a prolate spheroid, Woo! aids in the throwing of a tight spiral? We'll learn more about footballs later in the history section. Now leather is a natural product, so we should be able to digest it in nitric acid only. And due to moderate temperatures and pressures required, we will use our Mars Express 75 mil vessel. We could run up to 40 samples at a time, but I must have done something right because today I only have to run eight samples, which will be all four balls run in duplicate. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do. <laughs> it's not gonna fit. We're gonna to need to cut these balls into different strips. So, let's go ahead and hand these off. Wow, that was quick. Wow. Now we just need to cut the strips into even smaller pieces using ceramic or other non-metallic material. Just happen to have a pair right here. So, by cutting into smaller strips, we're gonna make it easier to get the sample all the way down to the bottom of the vessel. So let's give it a, all right. We're gonna cut a few more. And once again, using my calibrated eye, we're gonna start with about a half a gram of material. Let's get this into the vessel. All right, and we're gonna add our 10 mils of nitric acid. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep prepping these samples and I'll meet you guys back here in a minute. And sample number eight. Now that the samples are prepped and acid has been added, we'll need to pre-digest the samples by leaving the vessels uncapped in a fume hood for 15 to 20 minutes, allowing any initial reaction to subside. Thank you. For more information on how to perform a pre-digestion and other tips and tricks, visit us at CEM.com in the lab. Wow, man, I could get used to this kind of service. Now I just need to cap and torque the vessels. So we just place our cap, torque down with our block. Okay. All right, I will continue to do this. Give me a couple of minutes and I'll meet you at the microwave. Hey guys, one more tip for you before we get started. Remember, I'm using a 40 position turntable, but I'm only using eight vessels. So for best practice, we want to spread the vessels evenly. I have eight, I'm using the inner row in every other position. So this will be a great place to start. All right, we have the samples loaded. Now I do not have a one touch leather method, but animal tissue is close enough and it will get me to 200 degrees C, which will be needed to completely break down the matrix. Let me choose that and press start. Here's our animal tissue one touch. While the samples are digesting, let's get on the World Wide Web and take a look at the history of the origins of football. Footballs have traditionally been called pigskins, but they were never made from the skin of a pig. Animal bladders were used as balls in the early 1800s, so it is likely a pig bladder was used as a football. Luckily, and pigs rejoice everywhere, 
Rubber balls were made available by 1870. Since 1955, the official NFL footballs have been made of tan leather at the Wilson factory in Ada, Ohio, from cowhide sourced from Kansas, Nebraska, and Iowa. Approximately 130 people work at the factory, and they produce nearly 3,000 footballs every day. Leather is tanned in order to make it soft and durable. Tanning is a three-step process that includes baiting, pickling, and finally tanning. Baiting is an enzyme wash, pickling is done with an acid solution, and tanning uses a chrome sulfate mix. Most forms of chromium are not considered a health hazard, but the toxicity and carcinogenic properties of chromium-6, or hexavalent chrome, have been known for a long time. An investigation into hexavalent chromium released into drinking water was the basis of the true story portrayed in the movie Aaron Brockovich. It's a very important thing to monitor in the waste stream. To construct a football, the tan leather is cut into four spherical pieces using a die cutting machine. The cuttings are then sewn together by a seamstress. The leather is steamed in order to make it more pliable. After the outline of the ball is completely sewn, a rubber bladder is inserted which will be inflated upon completion. The laces are then hand stitched in order to close the ball. It is then inflated and placed in a mold to ensure proper sizing. A final inspection is then done to ensure a length of 11 inches, a circumference of 28 inches, and inflation of no more than 13 PSI. Isn't that right, Tom? Okay, now that our samples have cooled, time for dilution. Now remember, leather is the organic matrix, and that's why we did our pre-digestion step earlier, so we should see some good gas generation. Ooh. Look at that, beautiful. All right, this was the soccer ball. Let's see what we get. All right, let's pour that in. Okay. Do a little bit of transfer here. Get all the good stuff out. All right. All right, everything looks good there. So let's move on to our basketball. Oh, very good. Hopefully you got a chance to hear that. Let's take a look. Okay. Very nice, very nice. So let's bring this up to our 50 mil. While I keep doing this, let me uh, wrap this up and I will meet you over at the bench in a few minutes. Okay, so we have our four digested balls. Let's take a look and see how well we did. All right, remember the first one, this is our soccer ball. We scored a goal. Clear, colorless, particle free. Here's our basketball, slam dunk. Again, clear, colorless, and particle free. Baseball, definitely hit it out of the park. Clear, colorless, and particle free. And the long-awaited football, we did score that touchdown. Clear, colorless, and particle free as well. So the question, can we digest the football? Did the Green Bay Packers win Super Bowl I? Yes, they did. And yes, we can. Beautiful.